I've been here. Welcome to Red Eye. I'm Greg Gutfeld, or as I'm known in Romania, Emma Stone. Let's go to TV's Andy Levy for a free game report. Andy, what's coming up on tonight's show? Thanks, Greg. Our top story tonight, the Aurora movie theater killer makes his first appearance in court. Is he insane? Will he get the death penalty? We report. Someone else eventually decides. Plus, the NCAA hands out stiff penalties to Penn State football in the wake of the sandusky Paterno scandal. Are they too severe? Not severe enough? We report. Someone else already decided. And finally, 21 people burned themselves walking across hot coals at a Tony Robbins seminar. Do they deserve what happened to them? We report and then decide that, yes, they do. Greg? Thanks, Andy. You betcha. See you later. Let's welcome our guest. I'm so excited I'm here tonight with a first-time guest. She's actress, truefeminist.com founder and model, Sam Sorbo. Very hard to look at. And from the Daily Caller, it's senior editor, Jamie Weinstein. Well, he never changes. He's my repulsive sidekick, Bill Schultz. And sitting right next to me, National Review's Kevin Williamson. Looking as evil as ever. He's the author of The Politically Incorrect Guide to Socialism, a great book. You should buy it. All right. To the serious stuff today. So in my mind, when it comes to the Colorado shooter, there are two options. Should he get the death penalty or should he get the death penalty? On Monday, the Colorado shooter, a.k.a. piece of appeared in court looking glassy-eyed and wearing a prison jumpsuit that appeared to conceal a bulletproof vest. They may be shielding him now, but will the state eventually end his life? Prosecutors are considering a capital case against the mass murdering murderer, with the DA noting, quote, if the death penalty is sought, that's a very long process that impacts victims and family members for years. His attorneys are almost certain to pursue an insanity defense, and experts say might make the case that he has schizophrenia, a mental illness that makes it hard to tell what is real. But does not knowing what is real mean you don't know what is wrong? Kevin, this is my, my debate about the insanity plea, that if you split from sanity, or you split from your, you're no longer Kevin Williamson, you're now something else. What if there's something else? knows what they're doing is wrong then the insanity uh, plea the schizophrenia plea is meaningless right yeah i would agree i mean as a criminal matter it just makes sense to hold people accountable for their actions and leave the medical questions to the medical practitioners they don't necessarily bear on that yeah. you know i'm pretty skeptical about, about capital punishment um mm -hmm. but every time i'm just about ready to declare myself categorically opposed to it you know some rat fink like this comes along and i okay we'll make an exception for you you know this guy obviously yeah the only reason why i have a problem with the death penalty is that it takes too long and so you see this person in and out going on. I, I, I would be much, I'm for the death penalty, but I'd be for it if it was just quick. Yeah, well, I think we <laughs> apply it badly. I mean, the yeah. way we handle the death penalty isn't uh, yeah. always necessarily done well, but that doesn't necessarily discredit the, the penalty itself as a, as a means of punishment. Yeah, and uh, Jamie, do you think a jury will accept this, that he's insane, or see it as a way to escape responsibility? I, I mean, I, I can't imagine that he's going to escape anything but the death penalty in the circumstances. I, like Kevin, uh, am, am fairly skeptical of the death penalty. I only uh, probably would support in rare circumstances uh, terrorist-type events uh, mm -hmm. with the terrorist perpetrator or, or gross crimes against children. I think this uh, probably qualifies for an inc incident uh, where he probably deserves to uh, be put to death. Here's the thing, Sam. I always feel my problem with the death penalty is that it's too, I said it before, it takes too long, but it also happens quickly. It's like, isn't it almost better for him to suffer? Well, one of the problems is we don't really have a death penalty mm -hmm. because it doesn't, we don't really put people to death. That's true. And, but the other thing is that... Well, um, well, 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 I'm, I'm from Texas. We put people to death. <laughs> well, Texas yeah. is different. Well, te but Texas is like its own country. <laughs> yeah, yes. we, we put hundreds of people to death every year in this country. But there's many that don't make it. There that. are well, so it's a, it's a many long people process, on death row, and it's such a long process. Mm -hmm. And there's something to be said for the, the fact that you're sitting on death row being a punishment. Mm -hmm. But I am opposed to the death penalty. I don't think that we should, honestly, I don't think we should burden people with having to put other people to death. Hmm. That's an interesting way of putting can, it. Can I, say I, w I wouldn't see it as a burden. I would see it as a joy. But I'm, maybe I'm a bad person. Yes. <laughs> I'm willing to consider that. That's one the table can agree on. Absolutely. That is not fair. Yes. But if you want to relieve people of that burden, you're going to have to dissolve the military and disband the police forces. Well, mm -hmm. but, I, but, but I... At least that's defense. In may, most cases, someone's coming at you with something, you go well, at sure. them with and the, and the death is penalty like an is, injection, electrician. Right, and the death penalty is, in theory, like a, a form of defense, right? You're trying mm -hmm. to make sure these people aren't a further danger to society. I mean, that's always the rationale for it. But is that the worst no, punishment? I don't or is think it is. In prison, particularly I, alone. Depends on the prison. I don't think the rationale for the death penalty is protection. I think it's revenge. But, but uh, what's wrong with revenge? In some cases. It's in the Bible. 
Yeah. I haven't read it, but it is there. <laughs> I've been told. I don't. I. I, I think. Uh, if something is evil, get rid of it. I don't understand. That's that's as simple as it yeah, gets. Yeah, but the evil isn't evil a little too simple. I mean, if yes, it is. Good evil, and evil that, is that simple. That makes it easy. Double pe death penalty is easy. Evil's easy. The fact of the matter is, nobody is born wanting to kill. There's obviously something wrong with this guy. Does that an excuse? Of course it's not, and he should be punished. But there's something going on in his brain that's not going in on ours. And to actually sit there and kill the guy for something because he was wired in a bad way. It makes no sense to me. But forget about the party you've got. I've never understood that. But that's a long asked question that we'll never get an answer to. It's a party of God, but it's also a party party of austerity. It's a party it's a party where you're saving money and no big government. It costs what one the hell are you talking, talking about? about? The Republican Party. Oh, okay. It's, Wait, it's, why don't you say what party? Because I because I don't I'm not sure he's a Republican. Where has the Democrats ever been the party of God? They uh, hate them. I thought you were talking um, about Hezbollah. <laughs> well, and I'm also talking about parties, period. But it costs one million dollars per inmate over each inmate's life if they're on death row. And that's incarceration costs. Trial costs, it costs a million and more in which prosecutors seek life without parole every time. It but is that's so kind much of a dumb argument because yeah. it also costs a lot of money to keep people in prison their whole life. Not as much as death and row. And people who get life sentences also are entitled to the same sorts of appeals. Way get, less than death he, penalty. He, he, Way go, less. Go, go, let's, Jamie, I, mean, go. I, I think he's right that it's actually cheaper to keep people we'll get, in We're going to edit prison. that out, but thank you. But, but, but I mean, let me just defend the yeah. long process for yeah. a moment. Yeah. People yeah. lamenting long process. I think that's actually one thing that makes us great, that if you're going to have the death penalty, at least let them have their day, uh, yeah. days in court, how many long it takes yeah. to eventually put them to death. You know who gives quick death penalties? The Taliban. They kill yeah. you immediately. You don't have a chance to appeal. Uh, th in, in America, at least, you have, yeah. uh, you know, you, know, yeah. you get to try but, it for a long haul. But, I mean, the, lo the long-term thing is what co what drives costs up. And, by the way, I think most Americans are willing to pay that price to get evil off the streets. And I know that you think, like, we now live in a contemporary society where saying something is good and something is evil is, in Bill's terms, simplistic. It's so simple to think that way. Everything's so complex. No, we've had evil and we've had good since day one, and we've been losing the, the power and the ability to acknowledge what is evil. In fact, something worse is going on. We're actually... We're actually changing the way we see evil activity as something as cool. I mean, the way we portray it, the way we portray it. I mean, in the old days, uh, you know, uh, the, the bad guy was the bad guy. Now the bad guy is the cool guy. It started with me, well, to me with Reservoir Dogs, I which I love really that movie. really new. I mean, you know, look at Shakespeare. The most interesting characters are Macbeth and Richard III, the yeah. bad guys. You know, Iago is a lot more interesting than Othello. Yeah, I mean, that's. but the thing is, I, it is sad to say, you know, you want to look at that guy when you see him and 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 because you're studying something so weird and I don't like that I don't want to be that person that finds that interesting I'd rather forget that I ever saw that creep and <laughs> we have to go show the picture but I don't ever want to see that again however when I see it I have to look at it uh, because evil is interesting fascinating. it's fascinating that's why people study it you know I don't know but going back to communication going <laughs> back to between good and evil it's very simple the mm. truth is the simplest thing yeah the truth is not complicated yeah that's a good point point. and you know what the scary truth is this guy lives he has groupies every yeah. single yeah. scumbag psychopathic freak has a legion of freakish weirdos who want to marry him that's the sad part too but I guess that's the way the world is there are just weirdos everywhere there's I'm a weirdo I think the important thing is not to concentrate on him, but to concentrate on the heroes that we yeah. got out of this, the yeah. people who saved other people's lives, the guy from the theater next door yeah. who opened the door and then shut it against yeah. the m mass murderer. Yeah. yeah I, you know, I disagree. I think it's real important to concentrate on this guy. You know, you need to pay attention to people who do these sorts of things, and you need to single them out. And you need to punish them in, in the most awful sort of way that you can come up with. But you I mean, can. That's, uh, that's right. I'm not, I'm not advocating 